You're out of your mind. Al. The answer to this puzzle is right here in this hospital. Kendall. She's um, confessed. And uh, she's on her way back to prison. Kendall didn't kill Stewart. Are you sure about that? She certainly thinks she did. So leave it alone. For God's sakes, protect your child. If, if Kendall were back here now, if she knew what was going on, that's what she'd want. I'm going to prove that Annie pulled the trigger that night. Then Annie is going to go to prison, and my daughter will be safe, and you will be alone to spend the rest of your life wondering how you could possibly have been a so incredibly stupid. Annie and I are going to spend the rest of our lives together in one long, happy marriage. Something you'd, uh, well, you never got the hang of. I will protect my daughter. Make no mistake about that. Then accept what she's done. Get her the help she needs before it's too late. Stop this. What if Emma can hear you? You know what? I'm getting a restraining order to keep you out of this hospital. You can't do that. It scares you, doesn't it? Annie, huh? Not being here when Emma wakes up so you can't put a hand over her mouth to prevent her from saying the truth? That would be the last thing that you'd want. You're right. I don't want that. I never have. To save yourself. Never myself. Okay. I'm going to cut to the chase, Kendall. I don't want you to go back to prison. Okay, Mom, I need you to do something for me. It's very important. Of course, honey, anything. It's, um, it's Aiden. I need you to, to, to go to the police station and post his bail. Now, he's going to try to fight you on this, but you're going to have to convince him to come here and see me. He can't go anywhere else. He can't talk to anyone. You just, you have to make him come here. Why? What, what is this all about? Just... Trust that I have a good reason, Mom. Please. Honey, you know that I would do anything for you, anything. But for me to just blindly go and post bail for Aiden... It's to keep Zach from losing his children. Okay, Kendall. What is really going on? Mom, please. Please. be here within the hour. Okay. It's some kind of mistake. I don't need anyone to bail me out. Uh, turn around. Is Chief Hubbard around? No, he isn't. I was fine where I was. Apparently not. You're wanted at Pine Valley Hospital. By whom? Erica Kane. gonna get killed and she's probably right so what plan b plan b um i confess tell the police everything you can are you kidding me they'll take you away from your family for good no come on we can figure something else we out. figured something out this is it i'm not gonna disrupt your family anymore disrupt he says <laughs> there's an understatement how about erupt angela went off on me like Thanks for everything. 
I'll never forget it. But it ends here. No, I can't just quit this now. Good. I can't, I can't give Good. up on this. Because I need you and Ryan to stay on Annie. You sure about this? Fastest way to justice. I'll talk to Willis, tell him it was all my idea. How I blackmailed you, threatened your family. It's on me now. I don't see any blood. I can move my hand, but then I'd ruin your fancy shoes. All right, look, do you want me to get you another bandage? I'm sure there's something in the medicine cabinet. No. Just, I need water. Could you give me a hand? How is she? She's still unconscious. It's the waiting that, um... I know, it, it was the same with Kendall, but it, you know, it worked out in the end. Somehow I don't think you stopped me to talk about Kendall. That's exactly why I stopped you. This is, um... I need to ask a favor. For Kendall, and for my son, and for me. Take care of my son. Ian, why? What happened? You'll find out soon enough. Baby. Erica, I still don't know why you bailed me out. I don't know either. Well, has this uh, got something to do with Annie? Has she um, pulled something new, has she? I really don't know. Look, all I can tell you is that Kendall wanted you to come here. She wanted me to bring you here. She needs to see you right away. So, follow my lead. Officer, uh, this is Mrs. Slater's attorney. He has permission to see his client. Go ahead. Thank you. I'm so glad you're here. Kendall, what's going on? I'm supposed to be sitting in jail. Making sure that Zack's plan doesn't fall apart. This has nothing to do with Zack. Then why am I here? To help me. You're the only one who can.